Grade 3 Math, number 86, Half Past, Quarter Past, Time. Okay, we've been talking about time a lot in the last couple videos. Remember that the shorthand tells the hours and the longhand tells the minutes. Okay, one day is 24 hours, one hour is 60 minutes, so a half of an hour is half of that 60 minutes, it's 30 minutes. A quarter of an hour is 30 minutes divided by 2, which is 15. A quarter hour is half of a half hour. I'm going to show you that. Here we have a clock. And if we split it in half, and we don't split it in half this way or this way, it's always with the 12 and the 6. See? The 12 is on the top, 6 is on the bottom. This is half of the hour. So when the minute hand is pointing to the 6, it's half past. So wherever the, the hour hand is pointing tells you what it's half past of. In this case, it's half past 1. When the minute hand gets towards the middle, this halfway point right here, or farther, it starts getting closer and closer to the next number. It slowly moves to that next number every time the minute hand goes around. So when the minute hand is pointing to the 6, it's halfway in between 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock. So it's half past 1. It's halfway around the clock. Okay? Well, just like the clock can be split in half, it can be split into fourths. And this is why we did fractions before we did telling time. If we split this clock into four pieces, each of these corners is a fourth. It's a quarter. In a dollar, there are four pieces of 25 cents. See? Four times 25 cents is a dollar. So think of it the same way with the clock. There's four quarters to an hour. So one quarter, when we count by fives, is five, ten, fifteen minutes. Each quarter has fifteen minutes inside of it, and then it adds up to the sixty. So when the hour hand is pointing close to the one, and the minute hand is pointing to the three, it's one fifteen, as we've said in the other videos, but it's also a quarter past one. It's a quarter past. It's one fourth past the hour of one o'clock. Now, when the minute hand gets down here, we don't say two quarters past, we say half past. Now, when the minute hand continues going around and it points to the nine, then, like in this case, uh, let me fix this. It's actually 12.45 here, because it's not quite at the 1 yet. See? So this time would be 12.45. You would say it's quarter to 1. This is past 1. This is to 1. It's not quite at the 1 yet. If you made dotted lines coming up, you'd see that it's not quite to the 1 yet. And this one is past the 1. See? So this one is 12.45, that's the time, because it it, you go in between the 1 and the 12, and you always pick the 1 that's to the left, the 1 back, counterclockwise. So that would be the 12. And then counting by 5s, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, this is at 12.45. And because we can split this into quarters, this would be a quarter two. see? Here's a fourth here. And if the minute hand is here, it's got one quarter of an hour until it hits the 12. Now, we never say two quarters past, remember? We always say half past, because one fourth and one fourth is equal to a half. See that? We never say half to one. We only say half past one, or half 
two, three. We don't say that ever. That's why it's crossed out. We only say past one. When it starts getting where the minute hand is coming around past the six, that's when we would say it's quarter two. Now our next video, we're going to talk about precise minutes to and past the hour. I'll see you there.